everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing or we're going to be starting a tutorial video series on how to paint trees and other foliage so this is going to be a two-part series so part one we're going to be paint i'm going to be showing you real time how to paint foliage i'm going to be taking you step by step in how i approach painting foliage and in part two i'm going to show you how to paint a tree and that will also be in real time but it's going to have a bonus feature where i show you a speed paint of how you can apply these painting techniques to a full piece a lot of the times tutorials don't necessarily show you how to take an isolated object that they may have shown you in depth on how to paint and how to transfer that into a, um, a full piece and that's why i wanted to do this type of series to show you that so if you want to see more if you want to keep up with my little mini series definitely subscribe for more and subscribe to see part two okay so we'll get right into the video so the first thing that you should do if you want to know how to paint trees is actually you should get reference photos that's right kids get your reference photos so i'm going to be using these two reference photos today one showing you like this general foliage thing and one just showing you an actual tree okay so we're going to start with this one and the first thing the first thing you need the first thing you need is a palette that's right kids get your palette select your colors all right so um there are many ways you can do this but for me, I think I'm going to pick it from the picture itself as well as using my color picker, which is over here. All right, so the, the reason why I'm doing this that way is because um, picking it from the picture makes it a little bit easier that you can get your, you know, your dark tones, your mid tones and your light tones. And, um, but but sometimes the colors can be a little bit washed out as you will begin to see as i put these colors down they don't really look that appealing and if you were to to just use these colors alone it should kind of look lifeless almost like it's dying so that is why i'm also going to use the color picker in conjunction to this to kind of lively up the colors yeah all right so what i'm gonna do is use blue because blue is beautiful <laughs> Actually, I really think blue looks pretty in trees and that's a way to actually darken up some of your colors is to actually just add blue. You can lighten your colors by adding yellow and um, darken by adding blue. I don't remember what red does, but red does something. Anyway, <laughs> but you can use your primary colors instead of just using black to, to give variety in your colors or to, to darken your colors or white to lighten it. Um, you can just use other colors and it will actually give it some variety and make it look more interesting so i'm going to try to blend this in a bit to give me a new color hopefully something that's a little bit interesting and something that will serve as a darker tone i think i'll work with this and if um, anything, I'll just mix colors while I'm painting. All right, so the next thing you're gonna do, all right, is actually, that was the next thing, what was the next thing? It's, oh, branches. So, oh, I forgot to pick a color for that, but whatever, we'll work with it, we'll work with it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do when you start your foliage or your tree or whatever, is add your branches so what you just do is just make some nice lines and my hands are probably very shaky i guess i'm not sure why but that's just me anyway and you do that to have a little bit of branch because sometimes in your foliage branches show through and you want to show that when you are creating your trees yeah Afterwards, we're gonna add our blobs. So we're gonna make another layer above the branches. Oh, oh, I just want to emphasize here that you're gonna need to get your special brushes. So I have a variety of brushes that I use for my trees. 
So I'm going to this based on what is in Clips to be a paint, but I know you can find this on other programs like paint, um, Photoshop or Medibank. You can just go online and try to find people who make plant brushes. Okay. So you have this brush and I have this other leaf brush. Where are all my brushes so small? Anyway, I have this other leaf brush that looks like that. And then I have a blendy, blendy leaf brush that blends all of my brushes together. So I can use different tones and just add another color here and it blends it together. I recommend using like a textured brush along with this. All right, so what you're going to do is actually get that textured regular Schmegler brush. I'm going to use this thin gouache brush you can find in um, Clip Studio Paint. Not sure what the equivalent would be in any other program, but that's what I like to use. Any hoosies. So we're going to take the base color, the base green, all right, which is going to be this green for me. Let me just, yeah, it's going to be this green. The base green is going to be that one, all right. So I'm going to take that one and I'm going to make some blobs here. That's what we're gonna do. Make blobs. Blobs of green. So we're gonna do that. And you just can shape it however you want. So remember this is foliage. So it's not it doesn't look that it doesn't look uniform at all. It's nature kids. Nature isn't uniform. So I'm gonna do some sweet lines because I'm crazy. Anyway. Remember, you can use your reference photo as a guide. So this is our weird shape that we're going to work with. We're not doing much more. Let me zoom in a bit and get some more of this darker. I really hope this turns out good because if I'm doing this, I just look crappy. <laughs> it really sucks. <sad. laughs> okay, anyway, so that's our big blob. Got this bit of open area so you can see some of the branches. So after we do this, we're going to take our leaf brush. Leaf brush number one. Let's use number one. All right, and what we're going to do, let me zoom in a bit to show you. What we're going to do is actually make textures around the tree. So we're adding that leafy goodness around the edges of our um, foliage. It might look a little bit weird, but that's okay. We're going to clean this up, make this look nice, make this look really good. But we just need to add enough so it just looks um, interesting. I like it all around it. That's just me. But you can just play with it and see what you like from what you don't like. Alright, I'm going back to the, the brush I had before because I realized that some of this is a little bit too washed up. So you kind of want it to be really the same color all right so what we're gonna do now is actually we're gonna lock these pixels that's right kids we're gonna lock them okay i think on many bank they call it protect off or something like that but we're gonna lock the pixels so that we can paint outside of this thing oh I forgot. I forgot to tell you guys. You need to choose where your light source is coming from. <laughs> My light source is going to be coming from this general area. Let me show you. It's going to be coming from here. Yes. That's where I want my light source to be coming from. Right there. So we're going to use that flat regular brush that you have and try to add in some darker tones. I'm going to add another darker tone. Because I really can't see that. <laughs> I don't even know if you can, but I cannot. I don't like this green. I do not like it. There we go. So I need to use a color picker because I didn't like one of the, um, the colors that I picked that I made in my palette. So I use a color picker to get a darker tone of this bluish green that I'm using. Alright, so for me to blend it, because of the type of brush I'm using, um, blending is not that easy. It's a, it's a weird technique that I'm using. It's almost like I'm. I'm picking the colors to blend it. So I'm doing this really swiftly because that's just how I work. But I'm kind of going back and forth with my pen and picking colors as I see fit in order to blend it out. 
um, on my on my paint my stylus I can use one of the express keys anyway you have key and buttons on my stylus that I can just click as I go along in order to pick the colors I set it like that and that's how I'm getting this type of texture so I'm just taking my time and going back and forth almost like you're almost like you're coloring I guess and I'm just color picking so that I can blend it in so it gives this nice texture I really hope that explains it well I don't even know if I'm explaining it well but so I'm doing it everywhere where I have this really dark too and I suggest you do this well um you can do whatever you want <laughs> whatever is easier for you but this was really easy for me to do I really liked that I set down where my darks are going to be. I had an idea of how it should look. I established the texture without having to use um, one of those um, preset leaf brushes. Because a lot of the times, just because we get those preset brushes, we tend to just um, forget that, you know, you need to learn technique, paint, actual painting techniques before you move on to those um, somewhat easier tools. So I'm going to continue doing this until it looks somewhat good. And I'm going to also add the colors afterwards, like um, the lighter color, the lighter tones. And remember, because I know my light is coming, oops, my light is coming from this direction. I know that my dark side, the darkest area needs to be here, it needs to be here. But you should always know that because of how trees work, you're gonna have some you're gonna have some dark spots, you know, in between everything, like here and here. You're gonna have some random dark spots everywhere. As you can see with their with their um reference photo, you have dark spots in random places. They're not really random, but you have dark spots all over, even though the light may be coming from let's say here. Even though the light is coming from here, you have dark spots, even even close to where the light source is, because you know um, other plant um, the leaves cover up different areas of the <laughs> some leaves cover other leaves and cast a shadow. So that is why even where the light hits, you're going to have dark areas. All right, so right now just adding some lighter tones. I'm kind of just dabbing my stylus onto the canvas, having my brush I should say onto the canvas um, because I know this is um, a pressure sensitive brush or a pressure sensitive stylus, I don't know which one but I know it will be translucent depending on how, long, how much pressure you add so it's easier for me to do so. If you don't have that type of stylus or brush or whatever or program, um, just get a brush that is really blendable like watercolor brushes or something like that so to add the lighter tones you want to make sure you don't fully blend it into the darker tones try to have a little bit of um, harder edges where the light and the dark tones meet because like I said some some of the leaves will cover up other parts of the leaves and it was going it's going to cast a shadow so you can't have to you can't blend everything out even though i was blending quite a bit of the dark areas when it comes down to the light areas i tend to not blend as much but to try to use a more translucent brush so it just i'm um, seamlessly um just I, I don't want to say the word blend but kind of seamlessly blends into the entire piece without having to without having to be completely you know or the oil having a lot of soft edges yeah that's what i want to say yeah it has its fair amount of hard edges while not looking too sharp or not looking too opaque yeah that's 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 it i hope you understand <laughs> as you can see starting to look like a leaf foliage starting to look like foliage without actually having to use that leaf brush and you can leave this as is well not yet but you can be just use so that's what i'm trying to point out you don't need the leaf brushes they're good to have but you don't need them so i'm going to pick the the lighter green to try to blend out some of this yellow 
because you don't always see yellow in trees especially like really green trees it's kind of like um a shade of yellow or a lighter shade of green but not necessarily stark yellow depending on how you know bright the sun is or whatever yeah, so what i'm going to do i really like how this looks right now i'm going to zoom out and you can actually see it kind of looks like a foliage yeah it looks like foliage. Ooh, I'm gonna add some more blue because blue is pretty. It's, does that just look nice when you add the blue? I'm just saying, it looks really nice. I'm not really blending, I'm just stabbing um, some blue in the dark areas. And that looks so good. Ooh, I'm gonna get a darker blue for the, the lower areas. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, what we're gonna do now, we're still on that same layer. We do everything on one layer except the background. But we're still on that same layer. So what we're gonna do now is actually take um, our leaf brushes. Now this is optional, kids. You don't have to do it. And this is where things get tricky for me because I'm. It's easy for me to do this, but when I start adding leaves, things kind of um, get out of hand. <laughs> okay. So what I'm gonna do is use my my leaf brush and try to add it to my foliage um the i still lock the pixels so i still can't draw outside of the lines which is good so i'm gonna take my nice green thingy my nice green shade and i'm gonna just start dabbing it in areas where it, um the green is so i'm taking this green color that green color and wherever you see that green that's where i'm going to start dabbing it over the darker areas and the lighter areas so like here i'm going to use the lighter green as well and try to add some more of these nice beautiful leaves just putting where all the light areas are not blending remember kids not blending at least not yet so yeah i'm going to use it with some of the darker tones as well because you need to give the darker tones some love. and you just entertain interchange dark and light tones as you see fit no, I could leave this as is and to be honest I like it but I'm going to show you you can also use a blendy brush like my blendy leaf brush and try to blend out some of the hard edges there's not really a lot because I feel like I did the first process really well where I added just the tones with a regular brush and a texture so I feel like I don't necessarily have to blend but I'm just going to show you how it looks and probably undo it afterwards I'm going to show you how the blend the leaf brush looks. So it takes, so it's gonna blend out some of these hard edges while still adding texture. That's what I like about it. But you don't need it. You don't really need it. You just find what works for you and what works for the, the art, the, the work that you're trying to produce currently. So I'm gonna just add a little bit more. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. I'm going to try to add a little bit more lighter yellow to really highlight the fact that this sun is crazy! <laughs> so I'm going to try to blend it out with my blend leaf brush so it doesn't just look too overpowering. So I'm going to take my regular leaf brush, put one there, and I'm going to take the blend leaf brush. As you can see, I'm going to zoom in to show you. What you do is just blend like the edges out and you leave like um, one edge really hard and you blend the other side. So that you don't lose a lot of your hard edges and you can add a little bit of soft edges so it just um kind of unifies the piece or unifies the, the painting i'm going to zoom out and see if this looks good and i think it looks good i think it looks okay i think we can stop i think this tree is done all right i'm going to clean up this picture and make it look a little bit more presentable but that's how you paint your foliage okay guys um, thank you for joining me today in this mini tutorial series. Here is the finished piece. This is how it turned out. If you want more in this series, if you want to know how to paint trees, just stay tuned for the video next week. Um, thank you guys for joining me. I hope to see you guys soon. And leave any comments in the comment section of how I can improve these videos. Alright guys, goodbye.